awesome. Hello, YouTube, everyone in the world. How's it going? Trying a new camera angle today. Changing things up for the algorithm. I don't think it does anything for the algorithm. Uh, so today, if I can actually get my mic right, because I keep changing positions, we talk about some controversies. So let's get into it. So here it is. Here is the controversy. I want to talk about it really, because I already, uh, a couple weeks ago, because I was on Twitter, I tweeted some stuff. People got pissy, whatever. Um, you know, it, it's just it's it's a it's a really stupid thing. Uh, I'll move me to the side here because this is a little easier to see. Now, what's what's really stupid about all this aquifer stuff? You've been living under a rock and you have no idea what's going on here. Apparently, she's in trouble on the internet. Everyone's always in trouble. From 2017, she made a interview comments about. Uh, people writing Asian accents for her to do in movies. And uh, something along the lines of, uh, we'll pull up a little more of the quote in a second, but it was like, uh, I, I refuse to like go into like those type of stereotypes and those those accents. Gotcha, cool. In, in a void that nothing except for that small little snippet exists, I gotcha, cool. You don't want a stereotypical... Asian accent for you in a movie if you don't have that or you want to they want to portray you in that role but what wasn't even questioned then which I don't know why it, I mean if I were being interviewed and someone was and I was answering that as her and I you know and I say I were the interviewer I would ask well you have an African-American accent just because you grew up in a specific part of that a specific part of the world well what do you have to say about that Apparently, this has just flown under the radar for three years, so, okay, cool. Because um, journalists don't really, are more fluffers, uh, like in, in the uh, adult film industry, rather than actual interviewers. So, she came under heat for that because she uses and profits with a African-American accent, which is being dubbed the black accent. Okay, cool. Uh, this this vulture, one right here uh, from the fucking vultures, is like who, Aquafina cultural appropriation, and who owns the black scent? Oh my god, nobody owns the black scent. Nobody owns an accent. An accent doesn't get owned. You you get an accent depending on where you live. You grow up in the in Texas. Doesn't matter if you're Asian or black or Hispanic or white. It doesn't matter. You start adapting that accent. Especially if you grew up there. That's the way you learn to talk. Somebody grew up where she was in the Bronx is going to probably talk like that. It's how people talk. White people talk like that. That's the uh, the white people cultural appropriation wanting to be black people. Well, look where they grow up. If they grow up in a... I, I don't even know the right way to say this, but a more urban district. If most of their friends are African American, they're growing up listening to rap music. What are they gonna? How are they gonna talk like, like a '50s sitcom? Come on, it's it's an accent. Nobody fucking owns it. So this this stupid this is a this is a stupid fucking take. It's so it's so fucking dumb. All right. So she goes over it though. She addresses it. It comes up. Now here's here's where the meat and potatoes of this video comes in. Really, this is where. Uh, <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna play there. So she's this is her finally addressing the controversy of her using the black scent in films. I also I don't like this I don't don't like this calling it the black scent. Uh, no no don't don't bring me there. I don't like calling it the black scent. I don't I don't whatever, whatever. What do I what do I really care? Okay, so let's. Um, you know I I I'm open to the conversation i think i think it you know it, it's it it really is something that um i think is is a little bit multifaceted and and layered um and so yeah <laughs> so this is why so this is why we're we're talking about it right now um stop stop i just wanted to get rid of that highlight um, <laughs> this is, this is why I want to talk about it. if this, if this, if I did not see this Twitter clip, we would not be talking about this right now. This is a very bad, bad response. Now I am on the team of, 
if she's using this accent because the way she grew up, she should have a little more uh, insight and empathy towards possibly using a different accent. It's an accent. You can pretend to have an accent. You can grow up with an accent. It's an accent. Also, she's an actress or an actor, whatever they want to be called. They're actors and actresses. If you get cast into a role that has an accent, if you get cast into a role with a Southern accent and you don't come from there, you don't go, oh, I don't want to do that to make fun of Southerners. It's an accent for the movie. Movies have to have extremes. Movies have to have stereotypes in some way, shape, or form, especially big Hollywood movies. That's all they really know how to write, a lot of them. So if you're an actor and you refuse to act, then you're just not going to get the role. Okay, fine. It's going to go to somebody else. Uh, so I'm a little more torn on instead of the straight defending her and the uh, full wave of attacking her. Of course, I'm, I'm always somewhere right in the middle because there's, there's, there's stupid arguments on both sides and there's some sense a lot more in the middle when both sides are coming together and, and, and understanding each other. But here's the thing. <laughs> she has had a many a week to go over this. A many a week to go over this. This has been here since before the release of Shang-Chi. She's had a lot of time to think up of an answer. And this? Um, you know, I, I, I'm open to the conversation. I think, I think it, you know, it, it's, it, it really is something that, um, I think is, is a little bit multifaceted and, and layered. Um, and so, yeah. That is not a good answer. That is not a good answer. That is a horrible answer when you've had weeks to sit on it. So first off, I'm open to the conversation. Um, hey, Aquafina, uh, you're being asked right here to address it. You're not addressing it. You're not open to the conversation. You have no idea what to say because you got to go and talk to people to make sure you don't say the wrong thing to get you in more trouble. Just say that. Hey, I don't really want to comment on it right now because I don't want my words being taken out of context. I'll address it in the future. Just be more honest about it. But... Don't be like, I'm open to the conversation. Motherfucker, you're being asked the question right here. You're open. The conversation's open. You're just being like, eh. Well, would you look at the time? <laughs> and then to be like, it's multi multifaceted and there's lots of layers here. So, um, yeah. That's not a good answer. That's a really bad answer. It's just, it's just like, um, uh, it's not really. So, yeah. So, my character in the movie... <laughs> Which, funny enough, she goes on. They, they talk about this later. Um, maybe It might not have been this article. It might have been another one that had this Twitter clip that I, that I uh, talked about. She goes and talks into more detail about the relationship between her co-star and her on screen. In the movie, two fictional characters, a relationship. She goes on to talk about that more than addressing this actual legitimate controversy. People have... A right to be kind of pissed when she's saying this kind of type of stuff and she doesn't have an answer she doesn't have an answer so this doesn't make you look any better aquafina this is not this is not good it's not good when you're asked a question to say you're open to a conversation to address the controversy and then not address it and just say it's multi-layered and uh it's what is it uh, multi-faceted and layered sorry i don't really speak english multi-faceted and layered um, it is what's multifaceted and layered is the conversation of using stereotypical accents when you don't have that accent traditionally, that is a multifaceted and layered conversation. You saying you won't do Asian accents because it's, it's like disrespectful to an Asian community while your fame and everything has your African American accent. Uh, I, I, th I think it'd be more, uh, I don't even want to say it's like hood talk. I, I don't want to, because calling it black scent sounds disrespectful. It sounds more respectful of me calling it like hood talk or calling it, uh, an African American accent. If you, if one of those two, I'm not saying African American people and black people are hood. It's just, you, you go, you know, you live in a big city, you go to the hood, people talk, people talk like that. doesn't matter what your skin color is. <laughs> they talk like that. The homeless white person talks like that. Okay. Trust me, I lived in Los Angeles, I live in the Bay Area, okay? I've been, I've lived in New Jersey, been in New York. People talk like that. Doesn't matter the skin color. So it's like, that, that, what she said specifically, this is, 
this is not multifaceted and layered. It's not. What you said is pretty cut and dry. You're being hypocritical. You need to address the hypocrisy there that people want to have you address. To be like, mm, I'm open to the conversation, but the conversation's really difficult. So, yeah. Uh, so, my character in the movie, that's not a good look. It's, it's not good. So, I think her answer is shit. Uh, I, I, do I think she needs to come up with something? Who gives – if you're not going to like her, you're not going to like her. Who, who gives a shit? Is she going to be hypocritical? Welcome to Hollywood. Welcome to human beings. They're hypocritical. It's how it is. Um, should this be addressed? <clears throat> really? Honestly? No. She's an actor. Actress. It, it's called acting. If you don't want to act, then you're not going to get the roles. The Russian community and Russia itself did not, like, come out and damn Jennifer Lawrence or Jeremy Irons when they made Red Sparrow. Everybody just agreed, hey, your accent sucked. But it wasn't this, like, disrespectful thing to a community. You're telling a story. If they didn't have that accent, it would be immersion-breaking. So th the conversation there, I guess is layered but that's not what people want you to talk about they want you to address your hypocrisy that you talked about and i love it i love this though i love because this is just this is such a bad answer um you know i <laughs> i i'm open to the conversation i think i think it you know it, it's it it really is something <laughs> that um I think is is a little bit multifaceted and and layered um and so yeah yeah that's that's such a bad answer it's such a bad answer and it it'd be like one thing if the controversy came up like two days ago and that was from today that she doesn't have enough time to really think up something that uh oof, really think up something that won't uh ruffle some feathers and stir the pot she's had weeks to think about something and out of 22 seconds, that's what you came up with? Come on. Come on. Fire your PR person. Whoever is in your inner circle and told you to say that, get rid of them. Get rid of them now, Aquafina. Hire me. I will, I will come and help you. Because what you should have said, what you should have addressed, hey, look, back in 2017, I was being hypocritical to the, to the fact that I also do this for an accent that isn't of my, I guess, skin color and nationality. But the talk and conversation about that is really layered and difficult. So we can begin the conversation here, but I believe I'm going to put my foot in my mouth talking about it more than just addressing, yes, I was being hypocritical um, on, on that in just a small void of just, just those statements. Much better answer than, uh, uh, I'm open to the conversation, but Shang-Chi. <laughs> oh, man.